Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I want to show you how to use this um, embroidery effect Canva frame template that I am going to be putting out in my Etsy shop today. But before we get started on that, I just want to say I'm doing something a little new starting with today's tutorial. If you have any prayer requests, please drop them in the comments below. And as a community, we will um, pray for each other and lift each other up. Okay, so back to this template. This is a template you can see I've got, let me make these pages a little bit smaller. So I created this um, with three different color schemes. We've got the blue, then we've got the red, all the letters, they're all uppercase, there's no lowercase, um, numbers and symbols. And then we've got the green. And I did this in three different colors so that once you put your pattern in, the frame works like any other frame. You drop in your pattern, you're good to go. But to get the stitching, you're going to have to edit the colors a little bit. You can see um, I've got pink, blue, and yellow here. Down here I have a black. Um, and I needed to make the tutorial so I could show you guys how to get these specific colors onto your stitches from the basic template of green, red, and blue. I've had this file created for a while. I just hadn't gotten around to making the tutorial. And then today I hop on here to make the tutorial and guess what? Canva has an update that makes my tutorial almost pointless, but not quite. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it. Okay, this is crazy, this blew my mind. So I went in here to do a sample for you guys and I'm just gonna go ahead and start out doing this sample. I'm going to um, add a page right after this. So for any of my Canva frame templates, you want to just copy what's up here and put it on your own page. So let's spell out the word bride. So let's copy this B and then we'll paste it here. Let's go grab the R, copy, paste. Now we need the I. Paste. Now you might have already seen the amazing update that Canva did. This was literally not there before today. But if I'm arranging my B R I D E, okay. So I'm going to fill those with a glitter. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me ungroup. We have to take the top layer off. So ungroup, bring the top layer down. Uh, ungroup, bring the top layer down. I'm just going to continue this on. Okay, let's say we want to fill the letters with um, white glitter. So let's come over here. I've already done a sample to make sure this was going to work earlier. So I'm just going to grab this white glitter and I'm going to fill it into every letter. And let's say we want to turn the embroidery stitches to a soft pretty pink. Well, I click the first B and look up here. You can now change PNG colors. This is a PNG, guys. This is not an SVG file. You should not be able to change the color of this. And I was so surprised when I saw that in Canva today because previously you would click on your PNG image and you would come up in here to edit and you'd come to adjust and you'd come down to this color and then you would start adjusting from there. And that's what I was going to show you how to do in my tutorial today. You don't have to do all of that anymore. You just click what you want and you come up here and you change its color and make me obsolete. I'm gonna change it to a softer pink. And now that it's there, let's see, let me get them all to this kind of softer pinkish, whoops, didn't want to change the background, and a pink, and a pink, and a pink. Okay, and now if I come and click my first one, and click my color box that it finally decided to give me up here, I can adjust, I can make it lighter, um, I can make it darker. I can do all the things that I want to do with it. So let's just come to right there. Okay, 
But that's not all, it's not absolutely perfect. We do still need to go in, I'm blowing this up so you guys can see literally everything I'm doing. We do still need to go in and tweak it a little bit more, um, but just that initial having those color boxes is fantastic. You can put it to the base color of what you wanna start with and tweak from there. The whole reason I made this file with three different colors is so that it would be easier to get to your final color by starting with something similar in that color family. But now, I mean, that was just kind of pointless. But I'm happy that it's there. It makes life really easy. Okay, so we've got this, that lighter pink already. Let's go ahead and come to the edit and adjust. And now we can just start, you know, do we want to warm it up a little bit? Do we want to make it a little cooler? Leave that right there. Do we want to bring the tint up, bring the tint down? I'm also going to leave that right there. Brightness is where I really want to focus. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. You see, we've already softened it up a lot. I'm going to bring up the highlights, maybe bring down the shadows, bring up the whites, bring down the blacks. So we're getting a really, really soft, pretty pink. Um, bring up that saturation some and some vibrance. You know, just play with it to get it exactly where you want it. But then you can come and drop that on top of your background. If you get this whited out thing, bring it somewhere else on your design until you can see your background again. And then use your arrow keys to just kind of push it where you need it to be. Okay, so that's how you're gonna get your colors now. It is so, easy that they put that there for me and just because I want to show you it's not just my file let me come all the way down here I'm gonna add a page let's just come into some uploads that I have let me find a good PNG okay these little ballerinas right here the creator of these PNGs made different skin tones for her ballerinas let me show you how I can change it I'm just blown away. This is a PNG, yet here Canva gave me these happy little colors. So I can take this skin tone color, and let's see here. I need it to get into my top. Ah, oh, stop that. I'm still a little confused on how I can make her skin tone color show up in the top color box. Come here, lady. Let's see. There it is. I guess if you just click it enough times, but anyways, there it is. And now I can edit her skin tone from here. Um, we can, you know, bring that down. We can make her a little more orangey. So many different things that you can do now um, just because they've added that color box in there. So I'm super, super happy about that being there. Okay, back to my file and how to work with that. Let's go back to our bride example. Okay, so we did the B. Um, we want all of our other letters to be exactly the same shade as that B, right? So what you wanna do is we're gonna click the B and we're gonna click the edit and we're gonna click the adjust. That's how we get into all of these fun. Actually, I wanted that to be zero, not negative one, okay. No, <laughs> zero. Um, this is how we get into all of our color edits. So I want this R to have the exact same numbers as the B. I can see, I can try to memorize this. I've got 37, 37, negative 48, 48, negative 50. I can try to memorize all that, or I can just go back and forth. So here, this B is selected. It's what I want everything to be. I'm just gonna click the R, and all of that is already there. So I know the first thing was 37. Click my R. 37, okay, Let's come back to my B. Then I had 37 on the highlights. R, 37 on the highlights, all right, come back to my B. Negative 48 and 48 on the shadows and whites. Okay, click my R. Negative 48 and 48, all right, what else did we have? And then we had negative 50 negative 71 and 73. Negative 50, I already forgot. Negative 71 and 73. Negative 50, 
negative 71 and 73. Okay, and now this, didn't mean to put it in there. Again, just move it around until you can see your glitter. Bring that down. Something is off with it. It's not exactly the same. Let me go look at these again. I know why, because I didn't start out with the exact same base color. I had changed the base color of this one before I started adjusting it. They all need to be this. Now it's exactly the same, okay. So if we change them all to this lighter pink, it's driving me crazy. And we do the exact same thing. I'm only gonna do it one more time just to make this tutorial a little shorter. But so here's this B, edit, adjust, and we have 37, 37, negative 48. 37, 37, negative 48, okay, and then 48, negative 50, 48, negative 50, and 71, 73, or negative 71, negative 71, 73, enter. And now, like magic, they are all the same color. So that is how you will work with this file. You will fill your frame with whatever you wanna fill it with. And then thanks to my happy little Canva update that I found today, you can easily click through to get your base color and then you can adjust as needed. I do just wanna really quickly show you that these can go to a almost completely pure white and a nice dark black. So, I don't want that edit, I want this edit. So if I want this to go to a pure white, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to pull the whites all the way up. You know, let's just even start with white. Click white, there we go. And now let's edit it. We're gonna pull the brightness up. We're gonna pull the highlights up. We're gonna bring the shadows down. And you wanna do it at a point where you can still see the um, stitching as well. You don't want it like so whited out that you can't see the stitching. Let's see here. But you can get it to a really good white and um, let me just make this one black and show you you can get it to a really good black as well. So black, I mean that's already pretty darn good for a black. I don't know that I would go really even further beyond that. But yeah, so that's how you're going to use the new frame. Uh, you can purchase it in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link. And again, if you have any questions on how this works, let me know in the comments and drop your prayer requests in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Bye.